Ukraine has slammed rail union leader Mick Lynch for claiming the government used Nazi imagery to provoke a Russian invasion. The Ukrainian government yesterday hit back at militant rail union boss Mick Lynch for claiming that Kiev had provoked a Russian invasion by playing with the Nazi image. Ukraine's infrastructure minister Oleksandr Kubrikov accused Mr Lynch of losing contact with reality by spreading Kremlin propaganda. He said the RMT chief should express his solidarity with the murdered Ukrainian railway workers who provided a lifeline to millions of refugees who fled. Mr Lynch has denied repeating Kremlin propaganda. Mr Kubrikov spoke to the Daily Mail as he signed a deal with Transport Secretary Grant Shapps to help restore transport links in Ukraine, which brought the UK support to almost £4 billion. In an interview with the New Statesman this month, Mr Lynch said, the EU has also caused a lot of trouble in Ukraine. It's all about pro-EU and everything else. Ukraine has a lot of corrupt politicians. Ukraine has a lot of people playing with Nazi imagery and going back to a World War II and so on. Claims about the role of neo-Nazi groups in Ukraine coincide with those of the Kremlin. When asked about the comments, Mr Kubrikov said, it's definitely what Russia says. In Russia they have the same rhetoric, they have the same message. It's disappointing to hear thoughts and ideas like this from someone who represents the UK rail community, because our people, the workers on our rails, they are heroes. Just yesterday, some of our railway workers and employees were killed in the Russian attack and many more were injured, and instead he, Mr Lynch, should stand in solidarity with them.